the energy transition is increasingly difficult right now worldwide because consumers are starting to see higher prices of fossil fuels. How compromised is that transition at the moment, sir? Uh, thank you. I think uh, there might be a misunderstanding or some people are trying to portray it in a way as if the current market crisis uh, is the first uh, crisis of the clean energy transitions and the current station with natural gas or oil or coal, it has nothing to do with the clean energy transitions. There are different fundamental drivers uh, for that. And in, in my view, clean energy is not the uh, cause, but the solution uh, to this uh, problem uh, we have. So therefore, it is important to put this in a perspective and the uh, price of oil uh, you were just talking about a few minutes ago. Today, it is uh, above $80, uh, but uh, today we, the world uh, consumes about 96 million barrels per day, and only 2019, the world was consuming much higher, 100 million barrels per day of oil, and the price was uh, $60. So we cannot uh, talk about so, the lack of investment to oil or other things. Uh, there is enough oil in the, in the world, but uh, the uh, high oil prices must be a result of uh, other things rather than the lack of capacity or lack of investments. Fatih, uh, as a representative both of the energy industry as well as a proponent of tri the transition to a cleaner energy future, do you think the price of oil should stay high, should go even higher to expedite the transition period? I think the current uh, prices, uh, oil, uh, gas, uh, coal prices, are a serious challenge for the global economic uh, recovery through uh, higher inflation. And as such, uh, those uh, prices I would like to see as uh, lower than they are now. But regardless of the prices, uh, clean energy is coming very strongly. It is the electric cars, it is the, uh, the solar, it is the wind. Just today, I just uh, saw the electric car sales in China, the largest car manufacturers. Uh, the, it is more than 20 percent of all the cars sold in China are electric cars. Same in Europe. It is going to grow, and it will end up, uh, I, I expect, a big impact on the oil demand. We shouldn't be... Uh, fixated what is happening today in the markets as a result of the unsustainable economic recovery around the world. Yeah. Let's look at a bit beyond, beyond this. And uh, I expect that the current climate policies of many governments from China to United States, United States to Europe and others, will have significant implications for the uh, global energy markets.